Hi. So here we have one more number pattern, but it is written a little bit differently. Here we have got three numbers in the beginning of the pattern. Then we have two blank spaces, which we need to fill. And then there is 17 and then there is one more blank space after 17, right? So what is the significance of this 17? The 17 over here is actually a checkpoint. It is a checkpoint to verify our logic, which we deduce from these three terms, right? So let's see how important is this. So again, let's start from the beginning. We have three numbers and at first go, it looks like a Fibonacci series. Then also let's find the differences. Three minus two is one and five minus three is two, right? At first go, it looks like Fibonacci series. So let's assume if it is a Fibonacci series. What do we do in Fibonacci series? In Fibonacci series, Every term Tn is the sum of its two previous term, right? So if we are finding the nth term, we have to add n minus first and n minus second terms to find that term, right? So if it is a Fibonacci series, this place will be sum of 3 and 5. So 3 plus 5 is 8, right? And this place will be 8 plus 5. 13, right? And then this place should be actually 13 plus 8, which is 21, right? But here we are provided with 17. That means this series is not a Fibonacci series, right? That means there is some another logic which we need to follow over here. So let's try and find that another logic. So what can be the other logic which can be derived from these two terms, these two differences? The difference 3 minus 2 is 1, 5 minus 3 is 2. So the next difference can be 3. So if the next difference is 3, this term has to be 3 more than 5. So fourth term that is T4 will be 5 plus 3. This is 8, right? And fifth term should be, yes, this time the difference should be 4 because we are assuming that the difference is increasing as natural number. So to find the last term, we have added 3 to 5. 5 was the third term. So to find the fifth term, we should add 4 to the fourth term. So fourth term is 8. 8 plus 4 is 12. Sixth term we are provided with is 17, right? So now let's check here itself if we get sixth term as 17 by following the same logic or not. So sixth term should be fifth term, which was 12, which we have recently found out, plus 5. Yes, 12 plus 5 is 17. So this logic in which we have assumed the difference increasing as a series of natural numbers looks correct. So let's finalize our fourth and fifth term. Fourth term we have found as 8 and fifth term we have found as 12, right? Sixth term was 17 itself and what about the seventh term? Seventh term should be sixth term which is 17 plus here we have added 5 so here we have to add 6. 17 plus 6 7 plus 6 is 13, 1 carried forward, 1 plus 1, 2, 23. So, 7th term should be 23, right? So, this is the series and what about the generalized format? So, what we are doing over here? Here, to find the 4th term, we are adding the 3rd term to 3 and here, to find the 5th term, we are taking 4th term and we are adding 4 to it, right? And here T6 can be found by adding 5th term to 5, right? So what is the generalized format? In the series, any term, if we call it nth term, can be found by adding its previous term to the place value of its previous term. That means if we are finding nth term, add n minus 1 to n minus first term, right? So this is the generalized format. 
which seems to work over here. 